final project where 40%, you got three options to choose from and y'all have um, a, a proposal due in week two, Sunday of week two in this class. So you want to make sure like you're doing that. Now the proposal is basically so I can make sure you're on track. I'll give you a little bit of feedback. Um, and it's basically so you're thinking about stuff before the end of week two. Um, and so you like, you're not just like crapping something out the day before it's due. And these are due on, um, by midnight on Friday of the last week of the session. Okay. Um, so do, do note that. Um, but yeah, so your first option is you can do a video presentation. So use Panopto, you'll prepare slides, and you'll choose a hip hop song, you'll relate it to the class, you will um, talk about its historical, social context, um, blah, 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 blah. Talk about the artist, etc. This is like an academic presentation, you need to quote authors, all this stuff. If you click on the link where it says, you know, hip hop song presentation, it will take you to the assignment description that lists, you know, has the rubric, has everything you need to hand in, has links on how to do, you know, presentations on Panopto, all that shit for you. Very, very simple. You also have a bibliography due with this, um, this presentation. Um, I need to see your slides and hear you or see you in that so that's kind of important it's not just slides it's you presenting the information in five to seven minutes so no shorter than five minutes no friggin longer than seven minutes all right um and that's that's that so that's one option you pick a song you can look at the topics we're going to cover in the class and some of the songs and kind of use that to kind of figure out what you want to do but you want to really relate it to the course um, the other assignment, which actually is one I'm really kind of hyped on, is the hip hop mixtape project. So, uh, yo, know, I'm a DJ. You know, I've been a DJ for a long time. <clears throat> uh, you know, for me, a long time. For y'all, probably before y'all were born, I started and I've made a lot of mixtapes, a lot of commercial mixtapes, um, collaborated with a lot of artists. Uh, there's a real, real art form to making a super dope mixtape. A lot of skills um, and, you know, cutting it up, putting it together, flipping stuff. Just, you know, making it your own, adding your own salt and pepper and spices to it. But one element of that is also curation. Um, and so I realize y'all aren't going to be like cutting it up fresh, you know, or whatever. Unless you can. Uh, then I'd love, to, I'd love to check that. But, um, you know, the element of curation, I spend a lot of time curating the music that I'm going to put on a mixtape or a mix or anything. So that's part of this assignment. You're going to make a Spotify playlist and it's going to be a mixtape that's related to something um, in, in the class, a theme in this class. So you could do um, a mixtape, a 10 to 15 song playlist of, you know, all like feminist, you know, rap songs. Or you could do a whole um, playlist of like, you know, songs that, you know, are like, like queer hip hop, you know, like essentially talking about like, um, you know, LGBTQIA issues in, in rap music, you know, um, it could be, um, a playlist about police brutality. Um, you know, uh, it could be a playlist about, you know, the prison industrial, you know, the industrial prison complex or whatever. Um, it could be, you know, it could be a lot of different things, right? Like, so you can look at all the topics in the class and you, you know, you can include, um, I mean, again, click on the full description for this, but like, um, you know, you can include like a song or two from the class, but I want you to like find your own music on Spotify and put together a playlist. You have to come up with a name for your mixtape. You're gonna have to come up with your own DJ name and you're gonna have to design like a cover uh, some way. So it's whether you're designing it digitally or you're drawing it and you're going to have to at least be able to scan that or somehow put that as the image for your playlist. Um, there'll be a short paper that's due with this too, a two to three page paper where you describe your theme, how your songs fit within it, maybe talk about some of the lyrics and how it all works together. I think this is super dope. I can't, I can't wait to check it out. I'll learn about a bunch of different and new music um, from y'all. And I thought this could be a cool way to kind of like, you know, um, show me your chops, you know, share some music with me, um, find some new music for yourself. You have to do some research, find some old music too, that you can kind of bring into this. Um, so I thought that would be kind of dope. 
um, you know, etc. So again, you click on the link. There's a full description of what you got to do there. The last option is, you know, hey, like you're like, I don't want to do a video presentation. You're like, I don't fuck with Spotify. I don't know any 20 year olds that don't mess with Spotify, but um, or you're like, I don't want to do a mixtape. You know, you I want to write a paper. I want to like just write a paper. You can write a paper. <laughs> you write what's called a synthesis paper. This is a five to seven page paper where you, um, you know, kind of do like choose a topic, one of the modules from the class, and you really, really write about it. And you quote authors and you talk about different songs and music videos. And you really kind of, it's like a what did I learn in this class, but really focus it on a topic um, related to the class. So it really doesn't require you to do a lot of outside. Um, research or anything like that. Again, for all three of these options, you have a proposal due in this, by the end of the second week of the class, and these final projects are due by Friday of the final week of the class. Okay, it's very important. The other thing to note is that during the last week, um, all the quizzes and um, and um, responses are due on Saturday instead of Sunday. And that's something I don't have control over. It's just when the class ends or whatever. Um, and, I, and I can't do anything about that. So instead of Sunday, the last week, everything's due on Saturday. Uh, class materials. Each module will have a things to do before class. That's where you'll find all the readings, all the viewings, all the things I want you to listen to, Spotify playlists, YouTube videos, what, whatever it is. Um, it will be all on, on there. There's no books or anything you need to buy for this class. I've digitized everything for your learning pleasure. Um, academic misconduct. Yo, cheating's bad. Don't be a sucker. Don't cheat. You know, um, I don't like cheating at all, but one thing I hate more than cheating are bad cheaters. Yes, bad cheaters. Don't be a cheater, don't be a bad cheater. It's really hard to cheat in this class. Cheating would be like plagiarizing someone else's, pay, you know, using someone else's paper or not attributing a source or not putting quotation marks around, you know, a quote, you know, taking credit for something. Um, cheating would be taking the quizzes with all your homies um, on Zoom or in person and sharing answers. You know, like, I don't know how I bust you on that, but that's weak sauce. All right, don't cheat. Che cheating's bad. You shouldn't cheat. Che cheating's bad. Good. Okay. Um, I will punish you. Punish. Uh, accessibility, um, if you're working with AEC, and you have you know accessibility issues, need more time on quizzes, etc. Hit me up, yo. I get a lot of AAC notices that call for extra time on quizzes, and about five percent of the people that get the extra time actually take it. So if you want that extra time and you have AAC accommodations, message me and let's talk about it, and I'll do that because I have to go and plug that all in, and I'll do that if you need it and and if you want it. Um, but I have ADHD and dyslexia, like two of the, the most complimentary, um, you know, superhuman capabilities, uh, you know, so I get it. Like, you know, it's hard for me to sit down right now and focus and it's hard for me to read <laughs> from this on uh, my orange paper. Um, and anyways, um, and then I give you a bunch of student resources at the end. Uh, for y'all if if you need them, um, you know, for like mental health, um, et cetera, et cetera. All right, cool. I love teaching this class, yo. Like this is a great privilege. I really do not take that lightly. Um, I am a lifelong student of this music. I love it. It, you know, I love the elements of hip hop, the samples, just, I love everything about it. It's like the mentality of the DJ, specifically of the hip hop DJ, is like how I approach my art. It's how I approach film that I make whenever I do make, like it's how I think of everything as like raw source material, right? I have a great deal of respect, specifically as a white dude, a great deal of respect for the history uh, of this music, 
you know, and I really, really, you know, this is black music and is black history um, that's become popular culture, you know, and, and as a white dude, um, I really, really like acknowledge that like I'm real lucky and real fortunate to go to the party. I'm allowed to go to the party. I'm allowed to partake in the party and have a good time. But you start wiling out, spilling, you know, drinks on the couch, you know, making a mess, you know, you get you get booted from, from the party. So I think, you know, for me, there's a lot of respect and admiration here. And I, I do feel very privileged to be able to, to teach this class um, to people, you know, uh, to young students. So uh, I don't take that lightly. I think there's a lot to this music. There's a lot to the culture. And there's a lot of things, obviously, I, I don't understand that I can't really, you know, that I can't really talk about. You know, but, um, you know, this music specifically growing up on it in the 80s, um, you know, it really brought in my mind to other types of music, but also to like, you know, Chuck D, a public enemy, you know, called rap, you know, the black CNN, you know, uh, in the sense of like, it was a way of getting stories, stories reflecting the black experience out to the world that was the antithesis in some ways of what was being the narrative in the new in the news media um and so like it exposed me to a lot of a lot of the things that we now kind of are taught in college and we kind of learn you know in um in through various types of media specifically like the internet in the sense of like there's a different type of gatekeeper now um you know, or less of a gatekeeper in the sense of like Twitter, you can pretty much put anything out there. Um, and, you know, if you look at like, you know, shit like Fer what happened in Ferguson, like, you know, there's the mainstream news media reports and then there was the Twitter handles and all and all that stuff. And, and so, um, you know, uh, that's just a real interesting, you know, you know, part um, specifically, you um, you know, that really bring, you know, was different in when I, when I was growing up a, as a kid. So, I mean, um, but anyways, I hope you, I hope you like this class. Um, that's the syllabus. That was some long ass Andre talking, uh, about the syllabus. So if you actually made it through this video, salute. But anyways, I haven't named this studio. I think I'm going to call it Tin Roof Studios because, you know, I got a tin roof on top of the barn. Maybe I'll give you a full, full out tour uh, at some point. Um, but I love this space. I got a little, I don't know if you can see it. Little Ms. Pac-Man cocktail table. I just refurbished. It's so sick, yo. But anyways, this is Muse360. I'm the real Dr. Dre, DJ Food Stamp. Here in front of my luxurious record wall. I actually, this is a green screen. This ain't mine. Um, I just wanted to look cool for y'all. But anyways, have a great summer. Get on with the rest of the module. I'll see you in the uh, canvas tour. It's very luxurious. All right. Peace.